All right, so I'm gonna start this one off by saying it is gonna be a lot of talking in this video, just my review on the Calista protocol, my thoughts on it, how they're handling the, the new content that they're adding and stuff like that. Ignore my um my depression cans and Dairy Queen shake in the background, all right? I still got some Red Bulls right here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, other than that, let's, let's get right into it, man. All right, I said I wasn't gonna do a critical review of Calista protocol, but the amount of shit that has been irritating me about the game is crazy, man. Like, they just released, I, I just released a video for um, Platinum Trophy it. And uh, it was a really fun video. I enjoyed playing through it the first time. Um, but the biggest problem is that when you play through it again, um, let, let me just start out by saying the Platinum Trophy is super doable in, um, in one playthrough if you look at all the achievements and everything i touched on that already a little bit in the video but the problem is that there's also a new game plus and there's other th th there's trophies that uh i needed to clean up so you go to play through the game again right on new game plus and still no cutscenes uh are skippable none you have to go through all of them right so that's okay because you know i only played it the second time through and i already knew what i was doing so it was pretty fast right and then they released hardcore mode, which I'm like, okay, cool. You get three more, three more trophies with that, as well. Um, nothing crazy. They're just like three bronze trophies. But I want it to show up as 100% when I look at the, the the trophies that I have. You know, I don't want it to show up as 95%. Sorry, my dogs are barking. But the problem is, uh, I was I was kind of excited, and I was happy. I'm like, maybe maybe you can skip cutscenes. Um, maybe maybe they implemented that with the fact that they're trying to get you to play through the game two more times on top of the two that I've already played. Maybe. Like, maybe they would think about that. And maybe they would make it a, a better quality of life, right? Um, no. No. I started my hardcore playthrough. And no skips. You have to watch everything again. Long-ass cutscenes. Um, so, kind of struck a nerve, so... Now, um, now I'm kind of ripping into it a little bit and, and doing like an actual review. So one of the problems is the combat. So the hardcore mode was supposed to make the game harder, right? Um, and again, like I said, it gives these these three these three uh, trophies to go for now as well. Just you'd think it would add some more replayability replayability to the game, but. Um, the problem is the only thing that it changes is the enemy's damage to you and it also makes the enemies um, stronger, right? So in like parallel with that, the combat in the game is really repetitive, okay? The the guns, the weapons are pretty terrible, right? Like your best bet to the easiest way to or, or the most damage I feel like was using the baton, especially when it's upgraded, right? But the problem is that turns into swing, 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 right? And then you hit like a, um, it's like a critical attack that pops up that you can quick fire a shot to, to hit like a critical part of them, right? Over and over and over again. Th that's the best way to take care of enemies. And the other problem is they don't have a big variation of enemies in the game. There's, there's like the normal one. There, there's like a bigger uh, a bigger set one that I think might be a little tankier. Maybe it's just visually, honestly. There is a taller one that like has uh, two heads and spits at you. And then there is a, um, there's an invisible one. And, and then there's like the two-headed boss one. And then there's the silent one. When you're fighting them, they all interact the same. There is nothing special about any of the enemies in terms of how you fight them. There's no like weak spots. There's no, the only thing that feels different is the fact that one of them spits at you. That, that's literally it. That's literally the only thing that feels different about any of the enemies in the game. The rest literally just feels like visual changes. So there's no depth at all whatsoever to the combat. And then on, on the side of that, you, you take in the fact that you have the GRP or the grip, whatever, the gravity um, wrist thing, and it makes every fight easy because there's a million uh, environmental things that you can throw things into or ledges that you can throw them off. So on no matter what the difficulty is, you can just pick something up and throw them off the edge. 
or pick them up and throw them into spikes and it insta kills them. And if there's nothing around, this is the problem. The only thing that the hardcore difficulty does is make boring fights take longer. Okay? Boring fights take long. That is the only difference. So, what does that really add to the game? What is hardcore? It does not make the game harder. The game is very easy. The dodging system and not getting hit with stuff is literally you hold the joystick one way. You hold it left, and then if they swing again, you hold it right. So it's like a guaranteed dodge, pretty much. There's times where maybe they'll grab you, or where you need to like block a swing, which you do by holding back on the joystick. There is no skill really, except the ability to move it left and right in terms of, of dodging. Like the timing window doesn't even exist. There's no timing. It, you just hold it. Like it doesn't, the hardcore difficulty does not make the game harder. It just doesn't. It just doesn't. Maybe like one or two situations where it feels like there's any sort of change whatsoever other than just prolonging the fight by them having more health. That's it. That's it. So, in order to actually want to replay this game, the only reason that I would even replay it is for the trophies, because like I said, there's no gameplay additions to having a new game plus or even this hardcore mode. There's no gameplay um, expansions or anything. Nothing feels different. Um, the only reason I'd play it is for the trophies. But now, just to do that, I have to play the game two more times and watch all this boring shit that I've already seen a million times. Like, not even to mention that on every playthrough, there's only three outfits if you don't want to spend money on an outfit that doesn't even last the entire playthrough of the game once you get the suit. Like, there's only three different outfits for four playthroughs. Like, there's literally no changes, man. There's literally no changes. So then, on top of not being able to skip the, cu skip the cutscenes, right? You get through the cutscenes, you're like, okay, whatever. Then they'll have sections of the game where you have to open three doors in a row by pressing a button and then spamming another button. You walk five steps and you have to open another door by pressing a button and spamming another button. And then you, it's the same thing. There's, there's like three doors back to back to back. And then there's another spot in the game where they're shimmying through like, um, through like pipes. You like stand sideways, shimmy through a pipe, super slow. Nothing happens in between them. There's just like three of those shimmies in a row where you're doing nothing. And it's the same thing with a certain areas with crawling through vents. You're just watching your character crawl super slow. It, it adds nothing. It adds literally nothing. So say you get through four playthroughs right you get through four playthroughs of the game you get the you you did your first playthrough of the normal game then you do your new game plus playthrough right and you get your new game plus trophy now you have the hardcore mode as a trophy you play through it uh you get your hardcore playthrough trophy then there's hardcore plus hardcore new game plus for another trophy now you're at four now you're at four playthroughs already now there's another trophy that it added, which is um, which is uh, get all of the weapons and the all of the upgrades for those weapons, like for, like all of the upgrades, whatever. And I, it doesn't specify if it has to be done in hardcore mode, but if it does, it's just terrible because hardcore mode lowers the amounts of credits you get as well for certain things. So like the credits that you find around the map, or for when you smash an enemy and you pick up the credits. Uh, or the the items, um, like, uh, what's an example of an item? Like a pristine uh, converter, I think they're called, uh, and stuff like that. Or the even the contraband um, package that you get, that you can sell for credits. Those all give less credits, so you're going to have less, uh, less credits to upgrade all your weapons. So, if it is, in fact, hardcore that you have to get that trophy on, it's going to take, like, six playthroughs on hardcore just to get enough credits for that trophy. And that might be that might be being generous. It might be more than that. And all of those times, at least right now, all of those times, you're not going to be able to skip cutscenes. You're going to have to watch all of the cutscenes again. You're going to have to do all of the shimmying, all of the door opening, all of the crawling through vents. You're going to have to do all that every single time until you can manage to afford all the weapon upgrades, which just to put into perspective the the max upgrades which sometimes it's like three well like for the baton it's like there's three of them that are that are the the final up those are all 2700 credits for the cheapest converter that you get you only get 50 credits for selling it and there's not like a crazy amount of them so 
it's going to take forever to get enough credits if you have to do it on hardcore. That This is all ifs. It might only be on normal mode uh, that you have to get all the upgrades, and this still procs the the trophy, even though the trophy is like under a hardcore um, section, right? So you might be able to do it in normal still, and that would be a lot easier. But still, all the shimmying, all of the crawling, uh, uh, all of the cutscenes, you're going to have to watch a crazy amount of times with no gameplay changes. So I get it. This might seem like, okay, well, you're going for trophies. Not everybody's going for trophies. Okay, so the people that aren't going for trophies are probably only going to play the game one time. Right? It, it seems like with the fact that there's no addition to the gameplay, uh, why would the casual person want to play the game again? Especially this fast or back to back to back when the game hasn't been out a crazy amount of time. What are they getting from playing the game again when it's the same experience over and over and over and cosmetics aren't even a change? There's not even cosmetic changes. Like I said, there's three. And one of them you had to get the deluxe edition to unlock. Like. If it, so, like I said, like I get that this could seem like, okay, you're a trophy hunter. So not everyone is going to have these issues. Okay. Well then everyone's only going to play the game one time and that's fine. I enjoyed the game on my first time playing through. But what is the point of doing these updates and adding these modes and adding these trophies? If they're going to make them shitty if they're not going to do a good job of them what is the point of even doing it it, it makes no sense like the first playthrough of the game was cool but i spent 70 dollars right a, a big price tag to play this game and to play it through one time and even that was like it was fun but a mediocre experience it's crazy to me, man. It is crazy. And it's not like a long game. It's not a very long game. Like, if you're running through this game, like, n let's say not grabbing every single collectible or, or, or um, all the credits that you can find or whatever. Say you're not doing that and you're just playing through the game at a, at a pretty fast pace, including not being able to skip the cutscenes, you can do that in like 3-4 hours, man. $70 price tag. 70 70 like, what is that, man? What is that? Make, make it make sense. But I'm at the point where, like, I feel like shit for not playing the game and getting these three trophies that I would really like to get. But it's more depressing to have to play through it and watch um, and watch all these cutscenes and, and do all the shit uh, and no gameplay changes whatever it's more depressing to actually go through and do that and still get the trophies than it is to just not have them and have it show 95 uh, and i think anybody that goes for trophies would understand what it feels like to see 95 percent instead of 100 percent. like i might sound like i'm overreacting or something whatever think what you want but it's just better it, it, it feels better to not 100 percent it at this point because there's nothing entertaining or fun about it. Like, there's no... The only grind... The only grind... It's not even a grind in terms of, like, hard. It's, like, how much can you mentally take of sitting here for this amount of time, for, for a certain amount of time? How much can you take it? How much can you, can you stand it? Just watching the same thing and doing the same things over and over and over and over again, just sitting here, bored. How much can you deal with that? Are you willing to just sit here and deal with that? And why should it be that way? Why shouldn't it be like, oh my god, grinding for this is a good time and it's fun and entertaining. Why, why shouldn't it be that way? Like, should, shouldn't a game dev or, or, or shouldn't, shouldn't games just feel that way to the consumer? Why, why did they... I don't know, man. So, like, originally I, I, I said... You know, in my, in my trophy video, I said I enjoyed playing the game, um, the first playthrough, and you know that that should have been all that mattered. But when you, it, it's one of those games where if you start to play it more and more, you just you feel these. It starts to become more and more apparent how shitty something is, if that makes sense. And I don't want to just like rip on like devs or anything, but I. Because, again, like, I feel like there was so much potential, and I don't feel like the game is necessarily 
like a bad bad game but it seems like there's a huge lack of care for it you know what i mean and for like because like i said you make the game the first playthrough um if someone's casuals or whatever they're playing it just play through that one time like sure right they got that experience and that's fine but now you might as well just not put out any other content if you're looking at people to replay it um adding these modes you're just adding these modes to add these modes you're not adding these modes to make the game better or to make the game more fun or to actually give it any replayability value you're just adding it to add it like thinking that uh thinking that adding that justifies the the price tag or something because it really doesn't but again like i, I don't think that I, i'm not trying to like rip apart like the game necessarily even or, or the devs but i think that there's so many opportunities for them to do something with it that would be better by just putting a little bit of like care or passion into it and it just seems like they're completely refusing to do that at least with this update or like you know how long has the game been out and you couldn't have added a how long has the game been out and you couldn't have added a, a, a skip on the cutscenes it can't be that hard from a technical standpoint even but I'm not a game dev but I think my point I, I think I made my point again I'm not trying to like rip rip them apart or anything it's just frustrating as a consumer and spending that much money like it is really disappointing to see it happen the way like i think i think i think anybody that wants to complain about it has the right to complain about it with the with the price tag and the laziness that it felt like was was there um in terms of doing it so i don't, I don't really want to apologize for ripping it apart but i just want you, you just want better man i feel like everybody just wants better but I don't know. That, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to be... Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to be getting these last three uh, trophies, um, even as a trophy hunter, unless they change something about how it, how it works. Um, and, like, you know... Like, honestly, skipping the cutscenes would be enough to probably make me do it. Um, but we'll see, bro. Until, until then, I don't think I'm going to be doing it. Um, but, yeah, so, like, if I'm putting this on a, like... I'm not, you know what, I'm not even going to put it on a scale. I just wanted to voice my opinions and, because I got frustrated with it and uh, content ideas. So here we are. Yeah, man, that's my, that's my critical review of the Callisto Protocol and just how I felt about how they're handling that shit. So anyways, hope you guys have a good day. Enjoy the video. Let me know how you guys feel about the game and, and, and these, these updates in the comments. Um, yeah, man. Peace out.